Well, what a day! That was terribly fun, wasn't it? <laughs> if you've seen my previous video about the improved in-painting, then you might have noticed that there's actually a brand new model available from Hugging Face. Yes, it's Stable Diffusion 1.5. They've actually updated the readmes and everything now. So if we scroll down here on their GitHub repository, it's now all becomes clear. Here it is. Stable Diffusion 1.5 in-painting was actually resumed from Stable Diffusion version 1.5, not like on the model card where it says it was resumed from 1.2. 1.2 is the previous version from 1.5, so it went 1.2, 1.5, and then version 1.5 in painting. What does this mean? Well, it means you can actually download the version 1.5 weights as well. Yes. There they are, Runway ML Stable Diffusion 1.5. Now, this used to have a great big warning on it saying, don't download this, it's in dispute. Stability of AI have said you've been terribly naughty and you need to take these away. But according to sources, um, no, no, it was all a confusion with all sorts of people. The diffusers were confused and other people were confused and I was confused. I know I was very, very confused. But as you can see, look, there is no longer a warning there. So this is all official. It's okay. I've read it on places. Places have said it's okay. It's not illegal. It's not a leak. I'm not doing anything naughty. They're not doing anything naughty. The CEO of Runway has said, I'm not doing anything naughty. So I'm, I'm going to side with them. And here it is. Here it is. The Stable Diffusion 1.5 model card you can just click on the old links there and it will show you you've got all this all the bits and pieces here it is so accept the license agreement here's how to do it in diffusers so if you're diffu using diffusers just change your model id to runway ml rather than comp viz stable diffusion v 1.5 or if you want to you can click on files and versions and there you will see a variety of different files here we've got the diffusers version and also the checkpoint version of these files as well version 1.5 pruned and version 1.5 ema only as well so it tells you all about the new models there basically if you're going to download the model download it into your automatic 1111 web ue directory so there we have web ue models stable diffusion Put it in there i've got it in there stable diffusion version 1.5 in painting and i've also got the pruned version as well there it is stable diffusion 1.5 pruned ema checkpoint only so let's test it there it is there it is portrait painting of a weird nerd celebrating the release of version 1.5 by himself alone in a steampunk basement so there's that uh, you know it, it it's quite cool so let's just save that one and let's see how that compares to the original 1.4. So there's a there's a 1.5 version. Looks pretty cool. Nice nerd. Like the basement. Looks very awesome. And this is what it looks like in version 1.4. As you can see, it's entirely bit, it's entirely different. So it is a different checkpoint. It it does look different. So um let's get prompting and do let me down know down in those comments what what sort of things you create if you create anything amazing whether you prefer 1.4 or 1.5 I don't know I've barely even tested it but if you do want to learn about more nerdy rodent geekery then you can click on one of these two videos